Well, my desk is a mess, like it usually is, full of string and uh, other stuff as well. And I thought I would bring you along the journey of a few bracelets and do a bit of a vlog like I used to do a year ago. And I haven't done since basically then. <laughs> oh god, I hate this lighting. This is why I have a ring light, because these lights are incredibly harsh and make you look awful. But I need to film a video today. I haven't filmed my wrap up for the month of December yet and it's already January 7th. So I'm gonna get ready now, glue some eyelashes on because I like to look a little better. The ring light does make you look better but it also tends to highlight your blemishes and imperfections so I like to sort of put stuff on my face before I film myself with it. I barely made any bracelets in December and I really want to fix that. I barely made any bracelets in 2020 in general. Um, oh my hands hurts. <laughs> this is why I use a tripod. Every single wrap up that I filmed in the year 2020, I kept saying that, oh, I have barely made any bracelets this month. I hope to make more next month. And um, I didn't even make one for April, I think. And I had a rough year, so that's why. I had a definitely a rough year and I wasn't feeling as inspired as I did before. But it's time to change that, it really is. I've already started three bracelets for the month of January. So hopefully January is a little bit more creatively productive for me. But let me show you what bracelets I have made. Well, to start it, I haven't made anything yet. All the patterns for these bracelets will be linked in the description. If I start any with you, I will also add them to the description. But we've got this one, which I really like. You can see that the black string is sparkly. This uses uh, a little sal simile, which is a sort of fluffy yarn. This fluffy yarn, actually. And it's really sparkly and I like it. Then we've got this one, which also sparkles. This one I made a loop for in two triangle ends. That's the sort of start that I prefer. If I can make a loop in two triangle ends, that's my ideal start because it's just the easiest and I think it looks the best. This one I couldn't really do a loop for, so I ended up going with just a triangle end and I thought it looked better this way anyway. So that's what I went with. And I really like this. I've got two multicolored strings for the center bits, the multicolored sort of blue, well, gradient blue, and a multicolored yellow, orange, purple for the middle. Uh, and then we've got sparkly strings on the outside. And I think this kind of reminds me of like the ocean and then the sun. I'm curious to see what this turns out looking like. Also just love looking at string, oh, it's pretty. And then we've got this one in pink. When I was making this one, I couldn't decide what color combination I wanted. So I made another one in pink that is same sort of style, but a little different colors and a little different pattern. But yeah, here are the strings that I used for this one. And these are the Alyssa Forever Simli and Forever Melange. I've been trying to find more, but I've been unsuccessful so far. And I also want to find this, but in black, because as much as I like this one, it is a bit too fluffy and I would prefer a smaller one in black, but I'm yet to find that as well. I've got my switch here because I play Animal Crossing all the time. Oh, also we have this bracelet that I actually started back in December, but I didn't finish. And this one uses the rainbow string that I got from an Etsy shop. I did a whole review on that. I'll link that video in the card and in the description. So hopefully I finish this this month, but I don't know. And then we also have my candle. Ooh. Also, can I just say that I really love my desktop backgrounds? I'm so happy I made a collection of those. Anyway, we've got a new candle, the Yankee candle, uh, exotic fruits. I was using the lavender one before, but it is completely gone now. Like there's no wick there anymore. I'm probably gonna clean it out. We did that for Thomas's candle when his ran out. You can put boiling water in it and then the wax just sort of comes up to the top. So I'm thinking I could do that and then just use it as like a wax melt, but I don't have anything to wax melt with. I don't have a wax melter thing. So I'm still thinking about that. But I do have this one that I want to start. I'm probably gonna light it for my wrap up video actually, which I haven't filmed yet, but I need to trim the wick first. That wick is way too long. You should trim your wicks. I need to get new scissors. I wanted to film that bit, but these are like the dullest scissors that I've ever had in my life, so off camera, but I've got the wick off. Basically, you just need to leave a tiny little bit and then light that and have it go to the edges, which that being said, I actually don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that for the wrap up video, purely because I, as always, have to film at night. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll wait with the candle because I won't be able to burn it to the edge the first time and that will ruin the whole thing. All right, so I heard that you guys wanted a room tour. So let's have a look at my room. So now I guess it's time to say, welcome to my new room. Don't know if you remember my old room, but this one is like twice as big <laughs> as that one. With that room, my bed was like right next to my desk and there was no room to do anything. And here I can actually walk up to my desk which is a mess, but we're gonna ignore that. And then my bed with some under storage space for, well, that one is letters from you guys. 
I have a PO box address in the description if you want to send me stuff. That one is just like pills and stuff, just like a first aid kit thing. And that's my black and white thread and then some random stuff, my tiny suitcase and whatever, doesn't really matter. But this is my bed. <laughs> These guys finally have a space. These lights used to be the bane of my existence. They were just all over the place. I kept tripping over them all the time. Now they actually have a space finally, which is good because this was dead space anyway. I have a little display area for my award and my cacti. My silver play button and my cacti. This one is Philip, this one is Moira, and this one is Isabella. Yes, they have names. And then over here we have my desk. Some of you guys told me that you wanted a tour of my bookshelf. I might do that at some point, but not today. Today, I wanna to focus on the desk itself, actually. This desk is by Flexispot, and I got it for free to review and to tell you guys all about it. But before we start with that, I wanna show you guys the most amazing, cool feature about this desk. Look what it can do. that cool it becomes a standing desk all on its own I programmed the height that I wanted it so that I can just lean over it and work like this and then if you press the other button it goes back to a sitting desk and I programmed that as well to be the exact height that I want for when I'm sitting I've been using this desk for nearly a week now I feel like I've gotten to know all the features and I can tell you guys all about it I'm not being paid to say anything but I did get this desk for free so that I can review it to you guys so I just wanted you to know that so first let's talk about the buttons the first two buttons control the height of the desk and you can just press and the desk starts to lift or lower you've then got three slots for memory and a button to set it and as I showed you before when you press the memory buttons let me just press two now there we go, just adjusted slightly. It goes back to the preset height, which you can adjust to fit your needs. It also has a reminder button, which you can set to remind you every hour or however often you want it to be. And that reminds you to stand up. The desk can support dual monitors if that is what you have. I have a pretty large single monitor and it fits perfectly. And the desk also withstands up to 100 kilograms of weight, which for me personally, I don't think I'm ever gonna get near, but that's definitely a handy feature to have. The height range is between 71 and 119 centimeters. Personally, my sitting height is 74, nearly, and my standing height is 108, and I'm 172 centimeters tall. Thomas is like 190, and he was also able to find a height that suited him, so the range is really good. The movement of the desk is quiet, and it moves at a speed of 3.2 centimeters a second. So it's able to alternate between a sitting and a standing desk pretty quickly. You have to be careful with your cords, however, at the back. I need to do some cord management, as you can see. And you have to make sure that you have enough cord to actually be able to do that distance. And the desk itself also has a collision detector, so if it detects that there is something in its way, it will stop. Overall, I don't have a single negative thing to say about this desk. I absolutely love it, and I definitely recommend it. The link to it is going to be in the description, and I want to say a big thank you to Flexispot for sponsoring this video. Honestly, I feel like my vlogs are cursed. It seems to me that every single time I film a vlog, I end up getting a massive migraine and I have to cancel filming. I was supposed to film my December wrap up yesterday, but I wasn't able to because as soon as I filmed that last clip that you just saw, I got such a huge migraine that the only thing I could do is just take two pills and try and fall asleep, which I finally was able to do, so I'm good now. But, oh, that's so annoying. And then I had stuff to do throughout the day, so I wasn't able to film. And now it's already 9 p.m. as well. I just came out the shower to get my hair looking a little decent and I'm gonna put my face on and film again. I'm watching my November wrap up now on double speed to make sure that I don't miss anything in my December wrap up because sometimes I do. But then after that it's makeup time and filming. Well I just filmed my wrap up. And I now want to film the intro to my 24 hour bracelet challenge or two times 12 hour bracelet challenge However, I do end up doing that and um, I can't because Thomas is cleaning something in his bathroom and it's very loud I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but I don't want to risk it. So <laughs> I just can't film for a while So what do I do? Yeah, I really don't know. I might transfer the files <laughs> from this thing <laughs> All right, it's a new day, and now that my wrap-up is posted, it's time to move on to other things, like actually finishing the bracelets. But before I do that, I need to clear out my desk because it's a mess like always, and it's... 
I just need to get rid of this stuff. I'm not gonna focus on this too much in this vlog because otherwise it's just gonna be way too long. But if you remember, I used to do bullet journaling. Uh, this was my bullet journal of 2018 and basically since then I haven't. That's also my previous bullet journal from before then. I got really overwhelmed with it and it ended up taking up too much time and I really enjoyed it, which is sad. So I ended up getting this one for 2021. Well, actually, Stefan got it for me as a gift, which was very nice of him. But this one comes pre-filled with the months and then habit trackers, mood trackers, and then whatever week. It's pre-filled for the entire year. So I thought I might try this one. I'm gonna talk about it more later, but this one is by Amanda Rach Lee, who is a YouTuber. This is her merch, and I'm really excited I got it. I also really like her. <laughs> she makes amazing bullet journal videos if you're curious. All right, but this needs a place and I need to get rid of all of this. All right, well, I got rid of most of the stuff. <laughs> this is a bracelet that I'm still working on. This is also a bracelet that I'm still working on. This I need to take a picture of. I actually probably should be taking more pictures for my Instagram. I've been slacking on my Instagram lately. Maybe, yeah, if I take this off. I should take more progress shots because you guys seem to like that. Maybe I can take a picture of this bracelet while I'm still making that and post that as a progress shot. Maybe this one as well, actually. Yeah, there's something about taking a picture of a bracelet while it's still being made that is really captivating. So perhaps I'll take a picture of this as well. So much string. <laughs> So the first bracelet of 2021 is finished. And look how sparkly it is. I love that sparkle. Yeah, I just did triangle ends at the end and twisted ties. I'm not pretty happy with it. A great start to the year. I was gonna continue working on these bracelets, but then I looked at my schedule and I realized that the next video I wanna post is gonna be a tutorial. I was originally gonna post this vlog next after the wrap up, but I need to send this out to the sponsor so they can confirm that they like the content before I can actually post it. Some behind the scenes logistics for you. So instead I need to post a tutorial. And I think I wanna do this bracelet. Yes, I'm already editing the vlog <laughs> on this side. I made this bracelet before and people asked me to make a tutorial then, but I never got around to it. And I feel like I'm kind of up to it now. So I guess it's time to pick out some string. I actually quite like the colors that are in this pattern already. So I'm gonna try and pick out colors that are similar to that from my pile here. <laughs> if you're curious as to the brand, this is Gamma. I got this in Russia when I was there. There's nothing special about this string. It's just cotton string. I just have easy access to it whenever I'm in Russia, so I get tons of it. <laughs> So these are the colors that I decided to go with for this pattern and then of course black for the background as well. And all I need to do now is cut these strings and get ready to film the tutorial. And this is where I'm gonna leave you guys today. By the time you watch this video, the tutorial is gonna hopefully be out for this bracelet. So I'll leave that linked in the card and in the description. The wrap up that I was talking about filming in this video as well is already out. That will also be linked in the description. And I'll also leave a playlist with my vlogs down there in case you wanna watch some more of them. I'm still thinking about what I wanna do with these bracelets, whether I wanna make another vlog and continue making them in that video, or whether I wanna save them for the potential 24 hour bracelet challenge that I'm still debating whether or not I should start because that's a huge challenge to be honest but we'll see we'll see what i end up doing with that if you enjoyed this vlog let me know in the comments so i can make more i haven't made vlogs in a very long time but i do enjoy making them and i'm curious to see if you guys do so definitely let me know if you do don't forget to check out flexi spot as i said i've been using this desk for over a week now and i am loving it and so i definitely recommend this and also before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive packs for your donations. 
I mentioned this in the wrap up video, but I am currently working on getting all of the packages out for my patrons. So if you want to get your package as soon as possible, now is the perfect time to sign up. And in fact, I'm probably going to film the process of packing a few of them. So you might even get to see your package be packed, <laughs> if that's what you want to see. In any case, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.